Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, glad to have you here. Um, I know a ton of Beastmen vs. Empire matchups, um, but this is the matchup that got me the best games, so I figured I would show them to you anyways. Um, and this time I will be taking the Empire against the Beastmen, so it's slightly different um, showing than in the previous ones where I was taking the Beastmen against the Empire. Um, and you can see here I brought a main line of Flagellants to deal with Goreherd, um, and Best of Gorherd, or really just Gorherd, they're going to be good against, um, but they'll hold down against Best of Gorherd for a terrifyingly long time. Um, you can see I do have three, com three free company militia spread out, one in the middle with a gap in my line, um, and both sides on the flank kind of supporting um, either um, Gore Bowls that are coming in the front, or um, turning and shooting this way to decisively win any engagement the Spearmen get into. Um, and I knew he was going to have Centigors with great weapons, so I did not place my Reichsguard on my flanks here, because I knew if they just in a straight up engagement, the Centigors with great weapons would win, so I placed them in my formation. And you're going to be seeing how I use them here in a little bit. And then I do have a General of the Empire, or uh, sorry, Boris Toddbringer on his horse, a Jade Wizard on his horse, and being escorted by the Royal Altar of Griffites. Um, so still getting that terror of um, still having that terror in the form of these royal altar of Griffites instead of with the griffin. Um, and then of course I do have my traditional four um, empire spearmen who are just so useful that I do have one unit of handgunners here in the very very back. If we look at my opponent's army, um, a very typical army you see these days, two centigors with great weapons, um, very typical. Um, four gore herd, two best gores. Um, this is what I mean when I say, like, definitely beastmen are an infantry heavy faction, less so monsters these days. Um, but what the one monster you really do see a lot is Gorbull, um, because he is just so powerful. And his one weakness is ranged fire. And that's why I brought my three free company militia and at least one unit of handgunners. Um, because you really don't see two. Two is, is kind of the old meta. Um, so you usually only see one, so that's why I only brought one handgunner. Um, so we'll see if I'm able to deal with that. Um, and then of course he has three Ungor Spearherd because they're just so cost effective and they protect his back line. Um, he does have that Bray Shaman of Wild, which I love the pickup. It's going to keep his whole army fresh if he's casting his spells right. Yeah, Bestial Surge there. Um, and he does have Savage Dominion and Vile Tide. So Vile Tide to proc this and then um, Savage Dominion to just summon a Psygore in my ranks. Um, and of course he does have Morgur the Shadow Gave, the competitive Beastman pick. Look at him yelling with his gross tentacle hand. Blah. 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 There's like spider sack on his back. Um, so I'm gonna push up, try and just make this an even fight. It's gonna be a lot easier to use my ranged troops if I'm in a nice formation. So I'm just gonna be um, moving all my dudes over here. Um, the forest is probably not the best area for me to do this, um, but I really don't have any other options. I guess I could kind of posture up over here, but I don't know, I just kind of wanted to go engage him. So I came up here in the forest. Um, and you know, who knows, maybe the uh, the um, gore bulls and stuff will have a hard time fighting in this um, forest, because they do get that, and they large units do get that penalty in the forest. Um, but who knows if that'll hurt me more than him, or vice versa. So we're going to be posturing here, getting my free company militia ready to fire. You can see just how fast these best of Gore herd move. This is one of their huge advantages. And now I'm going to show you how I like to use my Rex Guard. Just look at these poor Gore herd who have this loose formation. So they're just going to get run down by these Rex Guard. Boom! doing a ton of damage you can see doing the same on this side disrupting the formation and then just pulling straight out um, so getting some nice cheeky damage there and what I'm actually gonna do here is charge in the back of these Bestigor herd and then they're gonna turn around right in front of my free company militia oh man dream come true and they're just gonna gun them in the back Boris is gonna hop in here um, and but my Rex guard do get a little stuck here and so they are gonna get captured um, vile tide coming down doing a significant amount of damage to that um, to that flagellant unit. And you can see my flagellants in here. Um, and he did something I didn't expect, is he kind of just blobbed on this corner. 
So my, um, they actually don't have the best shot, but they will be shooting into the side there. Um, and the, this free company militia is shooting at Gorbel. Um, so hope, hoping to tear him down. This handgunner is obstructed, but I should be turning him on this Gorbel here soon. But you can see this Bestigor already off the field. Or no, wavering, attacked in rear. But my Reichsguard did take a ton of damage. Where's my other Reichsguard unit? Oh, he's coming around here to hopefully charge this blob, so I'm going to be um, pulling over here. And then I saw he did have his centicores over on this side, so this is kind of the safe flank to run around on. So that's where my Rex Guard are going, as far away from those centicores as possible. You can see I do have my spearmen ready to counter this kind of rear charge. And he does have Morgur the Shadow Gave not in combat yet, which is really good for me, because he has to be in combat to start proccing that um, summon. Of units. Here's his centigors are going to get in uh, into my free company militia. But you know what? I'm okay with this. The free company militia is such a cheap unit. Um, you can see my Reich's guard are going to come down, hold them here as my spearmen sandwich them, just trying not to let him get away for free. Um, and the spearmen are going to do very well against lightly armored units like centigors. You can see his Gorbel has come through, but I have my Royal Altar of Griffites with their high mass to stop him and their anti-large. And then also I have some handgunners with this beautiful point blank shot here. And this poor Gorbel is going to go down really fast. You can see here um, damage sustained, melee contact, attacked in rear, um, attacked in flank, under missile fire, discouraged. Um, so definitely terrifying. And you can see Boris just here in the middle, in this gap in my line, essentially, just holding it up by himself, um, which is really good for me. You can see these centicores did get into my, or my, one of my third free company militia. One, two, three, yeah. Um, and I'm moving these guys around here to the flank to get some nice shots into the side as my Reichsguard come in for a epic rear charge on this nice juicy blob. So usually you would not charge into spearmen, but um, this side was just losing pretty decisively. You can see these flagellants going down, so I really needed to take out. Just do some free damage here, and if I'm smart about it and I don't leave them in combat, I should be fine. Um, you can see I'm just trying to route them, um, and then also shoot them in the back with some pistols. Um, because as you remember, these guys do not do armor-piercing damage, so definitely um, like those lightly armored targets like the Beastmen troops. You can see my Royal Altar of Gravites do route this guy. Um, Boris is up in the middle. These Flagellants doing their job, holding off three units here, which is great. Um, this Gorbel is in here, so these Flagellants are definitely not doing the best. Um, but they are doing their job. They're being unbreakable. They're not running. So it's allowing me to do my work on other sides of the battlefield. So here you can see attacked in flank, shot in flank. They're, they're going to break here pretty rapidly. You can see my Jade Wizard still just trying to survive. Centigors are slowly going down to a mass amount of spearmen. Free Company Militia still shooting at important targets. Um, Handgunners turning around. Going to start opening fire on the Saigor he summoned in the middle of my lines. See, Free Company Militia are terrified. But I do have my Royal Art of Gravite still. Free Company Militia cleaned up this side, and I'm going to get a cheeky charge on one of his um, units that he forgot about and so you can see there these are the ones I routed very early on and so they were very healthy um, but I'm gonna get a nice rear charge here on this like unbraced unit in the back um, so just doing some cheeky damage whenever I can um, you can see here my free company militia shooting at that Saigor my handgunner should be shooting at Gorbel um, and again shooting at this guy I want them on the low armored targets like the Saigor and you can see my handgunners on the high armor target so just trying to use your units to their best effect. Um, you can see the Saigor dropping very quickly to that sustained fire. And again, Spearmen just going to go out to the flanks, do their jobs, because there's a ton of other units back here, and they could easily mop up my um, ranged units if I was not careful. So here, great Chaos Spawn Summon right on my Free Company Militia. Um, and you can see my Rex Guard coming around. They're going to get a charge, I think, on this Spear unit. Or no, they're going straight for, yeah, the spear unit. Gonna just <laughs> devastate him. And again, just trying to get charges on lightly armored infantry. Um, and then pull out immediately. I don't want to stay in that fight. And you can see this front line now is going in my way. Um, with army losses and um, 
just my general of the empire doing pretty well in here and my royal altar for fights being nearby they're all going to break and now i can start converging um, there you can see vile tide great use of vile tide i use it like that all the time using it as a way to disrupt firing lines because they can't fire if they're on the ground so definitely great use of that you can see his um, my free company militia have been cleaned up I'm running around with my Rex Guard in the back lines, and you can see Morgur just getting swamped here. Very low, um, but Gorbel coming back has kind of stabilized him. Um, but he is not um, dealing with my. Well, I guess he's got some more Centaurs over here. Dealing with my handgunner, so. Um, definitely not the best situation for me right now, um, but I feel like I have numbers on my side at this point. Balance of power is swinging in my favor. I've got a super healthy Royal Altar of Graphite unit. Um, and while Morgur's tanky, he can't really put out the kind of damage it would require to change this, how this fight is going to go. Because um, you can see I still got these handgunners, and they're going to be turning and firing at Gorbel here. Lining up a vicious, vicious line of fire. Um, and this Gorbel is just going to get gunned down. Or, I guess, shooting the Centaurs. Huh, mistakes. Oh man, Corporal just like tossing people in the background. So he's gonna realize the threat. And um, but uh, if you look at this, I have a nice box, free company militia, handgunners, free company militia. Um, so wherever he goes, he's gonna be taking some fire. And he's at so low health at this point, he's gonna go down. And you can see my Jade Weather, Jade Wizard, still healthy, still pretty high on magic. Um, my Rex Guard cleaning up those routing units. Great use of those guys. Um, you can see, yeah, there goes Gorbol, Bray Shaman's routing, Morgur still confident. I don't know what changed there. Um, those Chaos Bond being nearby potentially are these best Gorbs. See, that unit of Reich's Guard that got decimated in the beginning still being useful. Um, and yeah, there, it's just going to be a, like a, a mass rout of everything. And uh, the Empire's going to take the day. So let's go take a look at these kills. You can see these Reichs Guard, 150 kills. Man, definitely pulling their weight. Um, these Reichs Guard, more just being used as um, bait, essentially, between those Free Company Militia and Boris. I was able to completely annihilate one of those very expensive Bestigor herd. Um, but, you know, approximately the price of a Reichs Guard. Um, but I think they actually did do, uh, they kept working and doing other things in the battle, whereas the, the Bestigor is just kind of routed off and then got finished up by the Reich's Guard later in the game. Um, you can see these Free Company Militia doing pretty well, but the rest of these guys are just kind of shooting at large targets, taking out those Gorbals, um, which is very important. Flagellants doing their job, two of them getting good kills, two of them kind of getting swamped. And then Boris, of course, doing pretty well, and Spearman doing their job. Ooh, sorry, I'm just holding down the flanks. Um, and you can see one of the Gorbals did pretty well, all his heroes squad did pretty well. Um, but this Gorbel just got shut down. I think it was the first one that came through um, and just got gunned down by handgunners and free company militia and um, was unable to um, be cost effective. Like I think like 1,400 gold unit for a Gorbel. Um, so definitely nice to be able to snipe those guys out. You can see the Gore Herd all doing okay. Um, but, you know, Flagellants are a decently even unit with them. So you expect them to get about these kills about what my uh, flagellants here got. And you can see these Ungor Spears doing okay. Um, would have liked to see them going around the flank, protecting his back from those Reichsguard charges. Um, getting around there, getting into my Royal Altar of Griffites would have been great. Um, but again, very very hard to micro, especially in that forest where it's easy to lose units. Um, but great game to MC Dog, and um, thanks so much for watching. That's that.